Hi YouTube, welcome again to Total Body Beauty. Um, she's coming to you today with a video um, about my condition. If you notice the title, it says pea size tumor equals 200 pounds. Um, actually, we'll say 202 pounds because that is my actual weight. Um, but the tumor is pea size, but it doesn't weigh 200 pounds. <laughs> Um, I wanted to do a blog about this, um, tumor because it's something that's important to me. Um, it's important to a lot of other people who are dealing with it. Um, and I just, I really want there to be more of a support, um, group or support base for this type of condition. Um, it's called prolactinemia or in some cases for some people, hyperprolactinemia. And basically what it is, is it's a pituitary tumor. So it's a tumor that's on your pituitary gland, um, which is about the size of a pea. Um, it sits, I believe it sits kind of in the middle of the brain, um, in between the eyes, a little bit farther back, um, which why, you know, if you have really... Um, a really large tumor, it can affect your vision and um, give you migraines and headaches and things like that. Um, so it's a tumor on the pituitary gland. Um, and this particular tumor, prolactinemia or hyperprolactinemia, um, has to do with the hormone called prolactin, uh, which if you've never heard of that before, prolactin is the hormone that's released in women after they give birth so that they can breastfeed. Um, and so, um, we normally, um, I'm not going to say any kind of specific information because I can't remember it all off the top of my head, but, um, there is a normal range at which most women's prolactin levels are supposed to be if you're not pregnant or you haven't had a baby. Um, and if you have, um, prolactinemia, then those levels are significantly higher, um, depending on the size of your tumor or just depending on... Um, how much your gland is excreting that hormone. So um, that's what it is. Um, fortunately, it is a benign type of tumor, so it's non-cancerous, which is great. That really is a blessing. Um, and it doesn't have any, well, I guess you could say, it depends on the size of the tumor in the person. Um, I have a relatively small tumor, so I don't experience some symptoms in the way that other people's do. I think um, before I started treatment for it, my prolactin levels were about, I'd say, in the 300 range. Um, and there are some men or women, because men can have that too, it's their prolactin levels are you know, as high as 5,000, you know, that I've read. I don't know if it goes higher, but I've definitely seen it that high. And so you get into more complications with that. Um, but some of the general symptoms of it um, for women um, that I know is uh, weight gain. Um, you can have pregnancy symptoms, one most importantly being that your menstrual cycle stops. But not just that, but just feeling like you're pregnant um, and some of the symptoms that go along with that. Um, you can also be experiencing headaches. I fortunately never really had issues with headaches, but, um, excuse me, sorry. Uh, but I, um, I didn't realize it until after I was diagnosed, which was about two years later than the incident. But um, a, a couple of years ago, I started having fainting spells. And so I would just be sitting there and the next second I would be out. Um, but it'd only be for a couple seconds. And then before I went to the hospital, it just started happening back to back to back. I mean, I would, I could sit in a chair or on the couch or something and be fine. But as soon as I stood up a few seconds later, I was out on the floor and then pop it. And it would just be these spells that just came every 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. Um, and so I was hospitalized. They didn't find it then. I think at that point it was still too small, but it was developing. Um, so they didn't find it until about 2010 or so. Um, and even then they, it took a long time. I went to see a couple different doctors. They said, 
um, you don't have anything wrong with you, you're healthy, even though my menstrual cycles had stopped and I was complaining about the fact that I had started actively trying to lose weight by changing my eating habits and things like that, but I wasn't, I felt like I was gaining weight, I had pregnancy cravings, I had, it was just, if you can think about, you know, nausea, bloating, you name it, I had it, um, but finally, um, one nurse at a specific place, you know, she drew some blood and she saw that my prolactin levels were a little high. So she told me I should need to go see an endocrinologist. So I went to see an endocrinologist right before I moved to Georgia to go to school. And, um, when they did the, an MRI scan, they did find that I had the prolactin anemia, the, um, the tumor. So that's been over the course of, let's see, over six years now <laughs> that uh, I've been dealing with this. Um, and so this particular blog on the channel is going to be about um, what I've experienced since I've been diagnosed, um, the treatment that's involved with it, how I'm handling the treatment, and the other difficulties that come along with it. Um, and I really, really hope that um, some other people out there find this video and find this blog and that we're able to really chat and just support each other and share different ideas because, um, you know, it's, like I said, it's not, I mean, it is a benign tumor, but that doesn't mean that we don't experience different difficulties. And a lot of it is emotionally um, and mentally and not just physically. So I really wanted to share that um, um, and include my struggles and journey um, and to have other people chime in to do that as well. So I hope that you stay tuned and check out other videos for this portion of the channel, and I will see you next time. If you have any questions about prolactinemia or hyperprolactinemia, or you think, you know, that might be something that you um, may have that you need to talk to your doctor about, Please feel free to ask questions. If you need a link or anything like that about information, I'd be happy to provide that too. Okay, see you next time. Bye.